So I was telling you that um, we cannot use the binomial distribution here because when you use this formula, NCR, P raised to per R, Q raised per R, so that these probabilities P and Q, they are fixed, okay? They are unchanged and they are independent of each other. But in this case, when you have chosen one animal, the number of animals decreases when you are going to go to choose the second animal. But you can nevertheless use this NCR thing because in both in binomial and in this case, when you have choosing two things, your whole data is categorized into two, two parts here. So it is going to be dogs and cats. So you can have that, like the number of possibilities that how can this happen that there are two cats and there's one dog, okay? So there are two cats and one dog. <laughs> so this is basically three factorial over two factorial. This is for two cats. And this is same as three C two. So rather than drawing the whole tree diagram and doing all that stuff, so you just find the probability of C, C, D and you multiply that with three C two. Okay. So that is why it's going to be C square D. Believe me, it is the same thing as the binomial distribution. There is a very minor difference that I can't write this C square over here because the probability of C would be changing every time. For the first cat, it is going to be uh, two over seven. For the second cat, let me put this as C1, C2. This will change into one over six. And for the third cat, this will, this will simply be zero. So that is why we cannot take it as a binomial distribution. So in a way, you people are getting your binomial distributions concept reinforced that there is a condition that the probabilities have to be constant, fixed throughout, and the events should be independent of each other. Okay. From this, I'm going to take you to the next question. We have this fifth question over here. It says the length uh, of two... 42 phone calls made by a family are summarized, okay? So you have to find the value of A. I think that is uh, just a bonus mark here. So you have all these probability, I mean, numbers here, you add them up, you must get 242. So this is 60, this is 162, this is two or two. So I think that is 40. I have done that mentally. Hmm? Is that 40, Vichu? Yes, sir. Okay, let me check the answer here. Yeah, that is 40. Okay. Next it says, calculate an estimate of the mean length of these phone calls. Okay. Just two marks. So you will have to have the mid values here. This is 0.5. This is 1.5. This is uh, 3.5. This is 7.5. And this is 20. Okay. So let's do that quickly. Uh, 0 0.5 into 14 is going to give you 7, okay, and then you have 46 into 1.5, that is 69, then you have 1 or 2 times 3.5, this is 357, then you have 3.5 into 40, So you have 140, then you have 20 into 40, that is going to be 800. So sum of all of these effects, so this mean is going to be sigma fx over sigma f. So what is this answer, Bacho? 6.33. So this is 6.33. Correct two, three significant figures. Moving to the next part, it says on the grid, draw a histogram. Oh yes, I was waiting for this question. We have to draw the histogram here, okay? So for that, I'll first of all have a table on my left over here, okay? So this is going to be like this. Let me draw the table first. Ek second, dekhna yaad gadbar to nahi phir dwara light to nahi chali ye light bohut tang kar hai yaar aaj. Okay, uh, so, okay, so this is how you will have this.
from 0 to 1, the frequency is 14, the class width is 1, and the frequency density formula is uh, class frequency over class width. So that is going to be 14. So this way, please complete this. So guys, I have completed all this table here. Uh, the lens, the frequency, the class width, and frequency density. So we'll be using these two columns here. This will be going on the horizontal axis. This will be going on the vertical axis. So let's go to the graph and try to draw it here. Okay, I'm going to keep it here. Okay, like this. So first of all, let me use this rectangle. You can draw these two lines here, okay? So I have to have go from zero to 30. So this is, uh, if I keep this as five, 10, 15, 20, 25, that would work for me. And on the frequency, the density is going up to 46. So if I keep it as um, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, no, I'll have to keep them in tens. Okay. So here is my grid. I'll be drawing it here. Please excuse me for drawing a rectangle here. Okay. This has to be like, you know, two axes here. So I'm going to start this from zero here. Then I have five here and then 10 here. So let's have the first rectangle here. This uh, goes from uh, zero to one and it, it is going up to 14 here. This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You will have to excuse me if, if I make any mistake here. This is from zero to one. Then from one to two goes up to 46. Okay, 46 is going to be here. Okay. This is your one to two. And then from uh, two to five, we go up to 34. This is one, two, three, four, 34 here. Then from five to 10, we go up to eight. This is five to 10. And then from 10 to 30, we have to go up to 2. Okay, this is how you will have your histogram, okay? I have tried my best to draw this as accurately as I could, okay?